bevo.com. Talk about identifying that unmet customer need. How, how might you go about doing that? Is that done by intuition, gut feeling, experience in the industry, or is it more of a sort of logical, quantifiable approach? How do you identify that unmet need? There's a number of ways of getting at unmet customer needs. So when we talk about unmet customer needs, we're really talking about solving a problem for customers that's not currently solved, or giving them an experience that they're not having at the moment that they would value. It's normally one of those two things. And there's really a two or three ways to get at that. One is, if you know an industry really well, you might know that already. You know, and you're banking well enough to know that I had to solve the problem of, of 24 hour access for people who couldn't get to branches between nine and three. Mm -hmm. I already knew that. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a great example from Silicon Valley and Salesforce.com where Mark Benioff there knew the industry of providing software support to Salesforce is extremely well, and he knew that a lot of small companies needed that sort of support but couldn't afford to buy the software package from Oracle. So he put one on the internet and he solved a problem for a whole bunch of small and medium companies that wasn't currently solved. So you can know an industry and know its customers well enough to know the set of problems they're currently facing. That's one way to do it. Um, another way to do it, if, if you don't know an industry very well, there's actually two ways to do it. One is to just put yourself in the shoes of the customer and say, what is it I would buy? You know, what doesn't exist that I would buy today if it existed? Classic example, Innocent Drinks. They created a product they wanted to buy for themselves that didn't exist. They didn't know the industry, but they knew what they wanted. The third way, and the systematic way to find unmet needs, the way the innovation professionals do it, is to observe people in action. So you don't talk to them, you watch them. In banking, for example, you watch what they do in branches, you watch how they manage their money at home. You observe them, you see what's working, what isn't working. Uh, and out of observation, uh, you can find out a set of problems that if you solve them, they would value them. Bevo dot